When it comes to pain, is your cup overflowing? Oh, pain can be frustrating, especially when we don't know why we've had a sudden spike in, say, back or shoulder pain. Understanding what stresses might be contributing to our pain can be empowering. In this video, we're going to share with you a pain metaphor that's not only relatable, but very actionable. It'll help you identify ways to improve your pain and function. Let's look at the concept of pain as an overflowing cup. We've taken this analogy from Greg Lehman, who is an evidence-based physio from Canada. Big shout out to Greg. Now, we can view pain as an overflowing cup filled with many potential stresses. When your cup overflows, you might have pain. Let's take a closer look at what stresses you might have in your cup. Okay, so here is your pain cup. And we have some stresses that we're going to throw into your pain cup. So first of all, maybe you haven't been very active for a few months and all of a sudden you decide to hit the gym every single day. Might be a little bit of a case of too much too soon. So a little bit of stress going into our cup there. Maybe you've got some work stress. You've got a lot on your plate, you're under the pump, your boss is onto you. There's a fair amount of stress going on there. So we're gonna stick that, tip that into the cup like that. Perhaps you have a past injury, a sensitive area, and that can be a significant stress. So we're gonna throw that in to the cup. Oh, we're getting kind of close to the top now. What about sleeping poorly? You're tossing and turning at night, you're not sleeping well, that adds stress. Oh, we're getting really close to the top now. All right, throw on top of that some joint changes. You might have some osteoarthritis in your back or your hips. We're gonna throw that in. Oh, and your cup is overflowing. The fact that so many stresses contribute to our pain might seem like a bad thing, but it's actually great. It means there's multiple ways we can turn down our pain response. So how do we keep our cup from overflowing? Well, number one, we can decrease what's in our cup by removing what stresses we can. And number two, we can build a bigger cup. So you're better able to cope with all of these stresses. Just say at the moment you're not doing any exercise, but you'd like to be able to do a 10K hike. If you try that today, it might be a little bit too difficult. If you built up over time, and increased your tolerance to the stresses of hiking, it would be something that you could do. And as you can see, with the bigger cup, you're better able to handle all of these stresses. When it comes to building a bigger cup, we think exercise is one of the best strategies. Do you need an empty cup to be pain-free? The great news is no. You will always have life stresses in your cup, but you can reduce what's in your cup. But more importantly, you can build a bigger cup with a commitment to exercise, and that will help you to handle whatever life throws at you and reduce your pain. Hey, it's Jack and Ollie hey. in the back here. Now, if you'd like to see more content just like this so that you can empower yourself through education, well, then make sure you hit like or subscribe because we're working hard to bring you the good stuff.